Weekend finally here and one Tampa neighborhood is hoping to return to normal after a recent stretch of crime has plagued that area. Good evening everyone. I'm Josh Benson and I'm Paolo Cerro. Thanks for joining us for News Channel 8 on the CW Tampa Bay. Well, back in April, a fight in Soho led to shots fired into a nearby building. Four people were arrested in that case and last week, two people were killed and one was injured after another shooting in Soho, this time between gang members. And tonight, patrons and residents are hoping things really return to normal. Yeah, News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers live from Soho tonight. So, Nicole, what is the vibe you're getting from people out and about tonight? The hustle and bustle of Soho on a typical Friday night seems to be back. If I step out of the way here, you can see the police are here, as well as if we pan over to McDittons, you can see that they are absolutely packed and you can hear the chatter and music. For the people I've spoken with who decided to come out tonight, they say big cities come with more crime and they still feel safer here than they do in other parts of Tampa. The large crowds on South Howard Avenue are back. I feel safer here as opposed to Ebor, but I mean, stuff has been going on, so it is something to kind of consider. This comes after a shooting last Sunday left two dead and another injured. Shots fired! We got shots fired! Over here in front of Julie John's! Some say there's now a shattered sense of safety in Soho. So, what is really being done to bring back that peace of mind? The day after that shooting, Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkhall went to the community for answers. We know the problems. Now we need to start addressing these problems in a way that is fair to the businesses, but makes our lives livable. Wednesday, Tampa Police hosted a town hall where residents said their piece and heard the mayor's take for the first time. There are a couple of bad actors that are, are causing the majority of the issues. Thursday, Burkhall gave his annual briefing to Tampa City Council, saying overall crime and violent crime was down in 2023, but the city is off to a rough start this year, bringing it back to the Soho shooting. We're asking the community for help and tips. Now, as we head into the first weekend since the Soho shootout, Burkhall says it comes down to the numbers. With a thousand police officers responsible for 400,000 Tampa residents, Burkhall says moving forward, Everyone needs to work together. As you can see from the video we provided that the officers drove by like 20 seconds before that happened and the officer was in the lot before. So I think it's again as responsible gun ownership and keeping the guns out of the hands of people that shouldn't have guns and then everybody see something, say something. You can help Tampa police in several ways. First of all, you can submit a tip to tip 411. You can also actually become a volunteer with Tampa Police Department. And last, you can do coffee with a cop. You can actually request that one of your neighborhood cops who typically serves your area comes and speaks with you and you can talk about the problems you're seeing and your ideas to make your community just a little safer. For now, live in Tampa, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.